Okay, uh, I can hear you. You sound like you have a little bit of static it cut out for like a microsecond. But what do I sound like? You sound like a really handsome, wonderful young man. Listen, babe, you're my wife. I get it. But I'm trying to build something here. Come on! Magnetic mount CB radio antennas. We have two today that are both very similar in design and price but are they similar in performance? Let's find out. Hey guys, I'm Jimmy with One Road, and today we're gonna to be testing two very similar magnetic mount CB radio antennas. That's right, we have two of them, probably the two most prevalent on the internet, in my search anyway. They both look the same, they both cost pretty much the same, but do they both perform the same? And which one should you buy? In today's video, we're gonna try to figure that out. But before we get into it, I wanted to let you know One Road has a website at www.oneroadgarage.com. We're also on Instagram and Facebook at One Road Garage. So be sure to check both of those out for more content from One Road. Okay, so the two antennas are the Wilson Little Will and the K30 by K40. Yeah, it's a little bit confusing, but K40 makes the antenna called the K30. I've owned the Wilson Little Will for some time now. It was my first magnetic mount CB radio antenna, and I quite like it. I do have various videos regarding CB radio and this Wilson Little Will antenna. I will link them down below in the description. So I'm at the point where I'm setting up another one of my vehicles with a CB radio. And of course, I could have just bought another Wilson Little Will and called it a day, but I wanted to see what else was out there. That's when I came across the K30. The Little Will and the K30 both pretty much look the same. They both pretty much cost the same, but do they both perform the same? Does one vastly outperform the other, or are they both pretty much the same antenna? That's what we're here to find out. So here's the plan. I have three magnetic mount CB antennas now. I have two Wilson Little Wills, and I have the K30. I'm gonna have a base station here, which is gonna be my wife on the Cobra 29 LX, with the brand new Wilson Little Will. I'm then gonna take my other truck with the two other antennas, my original Wilson Little Will and the brand new K30, and I'm gonna to go to various distances, one mile, two mile, and three miles. I'm gonna test both antennas against each other for reception and transmission quality, and we're gonna see if there's a difference. So without further ado, let's get into it. Right now, I'm about 1.2 miles away from my wife, who's gonna be on the other end of this communication. She's sitting in my other vehicle with my Cobra 29LX CB radio along with the Wilson Little Will antenna. The first antenna we're gonna test is the Wilson Little Will to the Wilson Little Will. This is the antenna that I already have hooked up. I keep it inside my truck when not in use. And anytime I wanna use it, I just take it out, slap it on top of the roof, and it's stuck there for good until I wanna take it off. So this will be a good baseline test, and that way we can test the K30 against this Wilson Little Will, which I'm quite happy with. Hey babe, uh, just checking if you can hear me. Loud and clear, and um... Yeah, any dropouts, any crazy static or anything like that? I can't understand you loud and clear. I mean, there's a normal amount of static, I would say. For a CB radio, it sounds fine to me. Well, there you go. You can hear what she sounds like coming into this radio, and there is a tiny bit of static, which is probably exactly what she's hearing and what she's talking about. I am in a neighborhood. This isn't ideal conditions, mind you. I'm in a neighborhood. There's various hills and stuff around, so I might be at a slightly different elevation than my wife. There's houses and big trees everywhere. So there's a lot of interference that could be interfering with the communication here, and we are 1.2 miles away. So that's a pretty good radio check for 1.2 miles away in a neighborhood. On a freeway, I think it would be probably a little bit better because it's more of a wide open straight line sort of space. Okay, so now that we have a baseline with the Wilson Little Will, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the K30 in the exact same spot. Okay, fine, you got that up antenna on? I got it on, so. Right now we are talking from me, the K30 antenna, to you, which is the Wilson Little Will. Do you notice anything different at all with the communication? The transmission, any less static, any more static? What do you think? K30 
pretty much everything you said to me didn't make sense, but I will say that you sound a little bit better this time around. Now, are you saying that it didn't make sense because you couldn't understand my words, or you just don't know what I'm talking about? I don't know what a K1 Cobra Kai 30 is. Cobra Kai is actually a TV show. This one sounds good. Okay, but seriously, um, did the antenna change make any difference at all, or does it sound exactly the same? I mean, it's just like comparing apples to apples. Like, they both sounded good. Maybe this one's a little bit better, but, um, yeah. Okay, good to know. I'm going to talk to the camera now. Copy that. Okay, so there you go. This is 1.2 miles away, and I think this was a really good test. We got to hear a bass line with the Wilson Little Will, and then I switched it to the K30, and they both, according to my wife, sounded exactly the same. So now all I can do is go even farther and see if these antennas still reach each other. I do want to say that I do have an SWR meter in line here, and the SWR on this K30 antenna is extremely low, almost as low as it can possibly be on the meter. Well, how about that? At about one mile away, both antennas are performing very similarly. I had some concerns about the reception in general because I'm in a neighborhood, there's power lines, there's trees, houses, hills, everywhere. But aside from a little extra static on my end, possibly from the power lines, everything seems to be performing wonderfully. Okay, so this next step is about 2.1 miles away, verified by the navigation on my phone. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm now at a distance of 2.1 miles according to my navigation. And so again, this isn't the perfect scenario, but it's a scenario. I'm in a neighborhood, there's lots of hills, I'm at a different elevation than where my wife's at, there's houses everywhere and big trees everywhere, so I'm sure on a freeway or some kind of open road like that, it's going to be much better. But let's see if I can reach her and we'll see what she sounds like and what she thinks I sound like. Right now we're working with the K30 antenna. Big dog to little dog, come in little dog. Okay, uh, I can hear you. You sound like you have a little bit of static cut out for like a microsecond, but what do I sound like? You sound like a really handsome, wonderful young man. Listen, babe, you're my wife. I get it. But I'm trying to film something here. Come on! You sound great. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, cool. So the, the antenna, this is the K30, and you're saying that it sounds really good. Roger that. Or copy that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and swap antennas, and we'll go back to the Wilson Little Will. Give me about five minutes. Okay. So it sounds like this antenna is doing really, really good. I'm 2.1 miles away and we are in a complete neighborhood situation, not ideal for transmission with CB, but uh, we're 2.1 miles and it sounds really, really clear. Just almost, I would say, as clear as the one mile. I think it was 1.2 miles actually the first time. So yeah, this is a good test. We're gonna swap the antennas and then we will see if there's any difference at all. Actually, yeah, I was just about to radio to you because I literally just swapped the antennas. We are now working with Wilson Little Will to you, which is also a Wilson Little Will. Okay, well, um, my camera died, so I set up my cell phone, so it'll be a different angle for this bit. Okay, that's totally fine. Uh, thanks for doing that. Okay, so how's this sounding, babe? This is the uh, Wilson Little Will. Can you hear me loud and clear? I can hear you, Little Will. All right, so it seems like the two antennas are extremely similar to each other. Um, can you notice any sort of difference at all? But, um, uh, again, I mean, I don't know. They both just sound normal. Okay, so, I mean, if, if you know, you had to really, really nail it down. I, I mean, the first one you're saying sounded a little bit better, but you're not totally sure? Or do you think absolutely the first one was just a little bit better? Is one of them supposed to be better? 
No, they're both basically almost identical antennas. They're both magnetic mount. They both are designed almost exactly the same. Um, I don't know what's going on internally with the antennas, if there's better materials or something like that. I don't know. Um, one is made in the USA, one's not. And it seems like the one that you're saying might sound a little better is the one that was made in the USA, um, the K30. And I think you said something similar to that the last time we checked at 1.2 miles. Okay, so... Yeah, but again, like, it's, they're both fine. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I mean, it could even be placebo where you're, like, looking for something to be different or something like that. And you're just kind of, like, you know, thinking that it is when it really isn't. I mean, it's, to me, on my end, hearing you, they both sound exactly the same. Ask me how I like the second one. I maybe thought the first one was better, but yeah. Okay, um, so that's two miles, or two point, what are we at? 2.1 or 2.2 miles, I think, uh, 2.1 miles. So um, I think that's a pretty good test. We don't, I don't know if we really need to go any farther because we're in a neighborhood. I mean, I could drive another mile down the street and see if we can. Come in loud and clear, you think I should? Okay, I'm gonna drive straight. I can see straight. I'll drive really, really uh, quickly. One mile. Okay, I'll just be right here. Big dog to little dog. Come in. Can you hear me? Big dog to little dog. I can hear you. How far away are you? I am 3.8 miles away from you right now. 3.8 miles away. Holy Narnia! That's like far, right? That sure is far. That's far for a couple of little CB radios transmitting off magnetic mount antennas. And I am on a really big hill uh, right next to a mountain and some big old pine trees here. So definitely not ideal conditions to be transmitting, but... Sounds like you're picking me up. Yeah, I can even give you uh, the grocery list via CB. Yeah, you could do that if you want. So, um, how am I coming in? When I hear you, it's loud and clear, but there is this kind of like slight staticky sound. Yeah, just um, staticky, maybe a hair more than when you were closer, but it's not much. Okay, this is the Wilson Little Will antenna. I'm gonna go ahead and swap over to the K30 and we can test the K30 and see what it sounds like versus the Wilson Little Will. And uh, you'll be able to tell me which one sounds better if it even does or if they both sound the same. All right, guys, so you heard that too. Uh, we're on the Wilson Little Will and I'm 3.8 miles away. Now, granted, I'm at a higher elevation than my wife is and I did have to drive around a little bit to try to get reception, but still, there's no denying that I'm 3.8 miles away and that transmission is coming in extremely clear. And so I'm gonna swap antennas over to the K30. I shouldn't be where I'm at. I'm not really in a parking spot. I'm kind of on the side of the road where you're not supposed to park. So let me do this real quick and we will test that K30. And I think this would be, if the K30 performs as well as the little Will does, I think this will be a pretty uh, good test to know, you know, if one of them is better than the other and if one is worth buying over the other. So that's kind of the whole point of this is to know which antenna is better, if any. Um, are they both just the same? And you should just buy whichever one is cheaper at the time. Um, so far, it seems like they're both pretty much the same, but let me swap it over and we'll see. Big dog to little dog. I just swapped the antenna. We are now transmitting through the K30 to the little wheel on your end. Okay, any difference in transmission sound quality? I don't think so. It sounds pretty much the same to me. 
Okay, you do sound like you have a little more uh, like interference. Granted, I'm directly below a whole bunch of power lines, so I can't even believe we can hear each other at this distance. And something may have changed in that regard, but yeah, I can still hear you see exactly what you're saying. It's just that there's more static. All right, so um, this antenna versus the other one sounds exactly the same to you, right? I think so. Okay, I think that does it. Both antennas, I would have to say, are very, very, very similar. And not only design, function, but also transmission quality, I guess. Yeah, you actually sound a little bit better on that last transmission, so um, thank you for uh, for doing this. And uh, my everyone on my video here that's watching is uh, thanking you also. Well, guys, that is a pretty definitive test in my book. Um, we did three different locations. One of them was at 1.2 miles. The next one was at 2.1 miles, and this one is at 3.8 miles away. 3.8 miles. And I'm telling you, these conditions are extremely terrible for CB, as far as what I've been able to understand how CB works. Um, line of sight is always, always better. I think the reason why I'm able to transmit at 3.8 miles in these kind of conditions is because I think I'm a, at a higher elevation than my wife is. So when I'm transmitting out, uh, she's able to hear me, but at the same time, I can hear her and she's lower. So I don't know. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Those are just theories going around in my head. Um, I'm really impressed, really impressed right now with both of these antennas and just CB in general. This is a good, a really, really, really good reason why CB radio is still absolutely relevant. I mean, in these terrible conditions that I'm in, in these neighborhood areas with huge trees and mountains right next to me, I'm still able to transmit to my wife loud and clear. Like I said, I did have to move around a little bit in order to find the signal. There was various spots that I could hear her trying to move around, um, a lot of spots, but the problem was just finding an area that I could stop my truck and do what I have to do here to test these antennas. Right now, I don't think I'm supposed to be parked where I'm at, but I had to just stop and just do this, which is why I'm parked here. But again, I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like and this is not uh, a great spot. So I hope that helps to clear up any confusion there is out there with magnetic mount antennas. And especially if you're trying to decide which one to get, the Wilson Little Will, which has been around forever, and also this K30. I'm not too sure if this K30's been around forever. It very well might have. I just learned about the K30 recently, which is why I had to pick one up and test it against the Wilson Little Will. And I think, and maybe you'll agree with me, buy whichever one's cheaper. I was able to buy one of the antennas on Amazon and one of them on eBay just to try to get the lowest price possible on both of them. And both of them came out to be right around the lower 40s. So about like 42, $45, I think around there. So not too bad on the price of the antenna. The performance of the antenna seems to be outstanding. And also the function of it. I like that I can take it off the roof of my truck, throw it back in my truck when not in use and throw it back up when I want to use it. So overall, I would say magnetic mount antennas in general do work and they work pretty dang good. All right, did you notice a difference between either of the antennas? According to my wife, she really couldn't tell a difference. Of course, we're probably dealing with a little bit of a placebo effect there, but I think overall, she really couldn't tell a difference between one or the other. I did notice that the transmission coming from my end had a lot more noise. I kind of sounded like I was in a helicopter or something like that. The thing was though, is that was the same with both antennas. So I'm assuming that tells me it wasn't the antennas that made that noise. If I had to guess, I would say it was directly related to the power lines and how close they were to me. In that last position at 3.8 miles away, there was big power lines directly above me. In either case though, we could still clearly make out what we were saying to each other. And I do have to say that third position, I did have to search for the signal a little bit, but once I found it, it came in loud and clear. That was 3.8 miles away, and you just can't argue with that. My conclusion is this. Based off of everything we just saw, both antennas work, look, cost, 
pretty much the same. In my eyes, there's really no difference there. Buy whichever one is cheaper and easier to get. Again, that's my opinion. So which one would you buy? Did you notice a difference? Do you already own one of these? Comment below and let us know. Also, don't forget to check the description below for more information, including links to these antennas. And if you've made it this far in the video and you haven't yet hit that thumbs up, please do so now. Also, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I'm Jimmy with One Road, and I will see you in the next one.